<laughs> okay, so, fun idea, right? I haven't done anything in ages, but at the same time, I haven't done anything where I show- where I basically just say, look, I have a room that exists in ages. Uh, I used to do a few videos like that, I think I've done like one or two in the past, and it's kind of fun to look back on it, and also, I've been watching other videos where people do something similar, it's like, that's kind of neat to look at, so I figured, forget, let's just go look around my room. I'll just kind of go, if there's anything interesting, I'll go tell whatever story there is surrounding it. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so, like, this, this, this dumb, ch this friggin' chair. I got this, basically, when I moved in here, 2018. It's okay. It spins, and that's it. It can lean back, but you can't hold it. And, obviously, look at this. <laughs> you know, it's not exactly a gamer chair, but, you know, it, it works for the time being. Except this, this, this thing here. So, here's one of my shirts, right? Notice how... <laughs> Look at this! It's meant to just be like grey, but basically I've worn it so much on the back of this gr cheese grater of a chair that it's just sort of worn out to the point where it's practically see-through. I can't show it, but like this black patch, it's not meant to be there. It's just really see-through. But yeah, otherwise, it's a perfectly cromulent chair. It gets in the way sometimes. Normally if I need this room space, I'll stuff it over there because who would have thought? Hyper convenient. It just goes there now. Uh, previously, this bed was. Look, you can see the you can see the line. It's there. Yeah, so I couldn't, but now I can. Neat. Actually, yeah, that's right. Uh, this TV unit was here, and then here was the bed, and then here was just space. But I was like, who needs space? Ignoring the fact that I cleared all this extra space, so I had space. Namely, uh. I got a connect sensor. I, u I I got it because I wanted to do full body tracking with my VR headset, which is, is it lives here. I don't really use it much anymore because you know migraines and stuff, whatever. But technically, I have it, and I wanted to do full body with it, but it never really works. <laughs> but I have a connect now, and I can use it for connect adventures and uh, uh, dance evolution. And I've never played connect Star Wars. Honestly, I don't play on the. Any anything here to be honest this entire unit's kind of whatever occasionally when I want to watch blu-rays I'll use my ps3 because I have blu-rays. I even have a blu-ray drive I got this second hand for like 30 pounds is a good deal, but it, it, it uses SATA and uh, My PC uses SATA cool But this is an internal drive that's regular height and my PC look It's it's a pre-built from HP because back back 2018. I was like what? 13, 14, 13, you, I wasn't building a PC back then. I wish I could now, but whatever. So it's just a, it's a tiny little dingus. So yeah, basically I use this for the two times I use watch DVDs and this won't work in a hard drive enclosure. So I'm kind of stuffed. I could get a new case, but no cases have drive bays anymore. Mm. May as well talk about the PC. Uh, it, the specs, uh, it's an i5 7400, I think. Uh, 8 gigs of RAM that I upgraded to 16 and a GTX 1050. Uh, for a basic editing rig, it's fine. For doing emulator gaming, it's fine. For doing naughty, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it it works for what I need, and yeah, it's a fine setup. I got the mouse with it. It's it's a mouse. It's fine. Keyboard. I had an old one. Used the space bar so much it broke. Just found this one. At Mm, just kind of took it from someone who's like, oh, friggin' you take it. It works. I want to get a cool RGB one, but for now, this is fine. Uh, the microphone, I, I always have a bottle here because stay hydrated. Hey, hey you, drink, watch. Uh, microphone. Basically, everyone says, Blue Yeti's really good. That's like a great standard stuff. Like, if you just want to do space YouTube, uh, get a Blue Yeti, that's all you'll ever need. So, since I wanted to mainly do YouTube at this setup back, you know, in 2018 when I was making it, I was like, well, I can't get a Yeti, because, you know, it's already a pretty expensive to do all of this, so, frick it, let's get a Snowball. It's about half the price, I think I got it for £50, I want to say, and, yeah, for basic YouTube, it's fine. But, now, uh, I kind of want to get into doing voiceover, and slightly more professional stuff, and, uh, yeah, this this thing, it's it's fine. It's fine, but okay. This setup's not. 
I have it here, but it's kind of, you know, not the best. My room is okay acoustics-wise, mainly because the walls are all full of stuff. But um, even so, ideally, you know, I'd want to get a proper arm and a pop filter and all that stuff. But I never kind of did when I got it, and uh, I can't really be bothered to get one now. Um, Steam controller, it normally lives over here. Earlier on, my desk was like a mess of just stuff strewn around. It still is, but then uh, I got this little container. I think it used to be used for Lego or something. And now my stuff sits in it. It's basically just a dump of, hey, do you need a wig cap? Here's a wig cap. Do you need your Steam controller? Here it is. Here's a USB-C cable. Uh, here's your wallet for going out. Here's your wallet for storing money. Steam controller just turned on. <laughs> yeah, the main generally when I uh, go out, like to arcades and stuff, because guess what? I mainly do arcade things now. Uh, this is the one I use. Uh, I may as well go for it. So I may as well go for it while we're here. Uh, it's a standard thing. I think I got it as a Christmas present, I think. So it's just two simple pockets. This one I just put in whatever cash and USB stick for pump and pump. There's no there's no step mania cabs that near me that actually have you. There's no step mania cabs in the UK with USB support to my knowledge. None that I've been to at least. Uh, in terms of cards, uh. I use my first amusement card was just standard red design. I I got that 2019 a Vega, pretty good, but it's kind of bland. I got this one import the Wang and Maxi tuning card style. It's really neat, and I quite like it. It stands out, and it it looks neat, so I use it. I was going to arcade club, right? Arcade club Leeds, uh, and I forgot to <laughs> forgot to take this with me when I was packing. So I was like, oh shoot, I don't have my card. I could just play. But what the frick's the point if I can't connect online? So legit, when I get there, I'm like, hey, do you have any cards left? And they're like, yeah, we have grey cards. They're £10 and there's like one left. So I got a grey card, which is convenient if I want to play something old, like DDR 2014 at Arcade Club Manchester, Berry, whatever the frick it's called. Uh, or, I don't know, I think Dance Evolution may require it. I'm not sure. But yeah, if I need to play an older game, I do have a grey pass. Is free cards too much? Uh, if it's not, <laughs> I also got a Nesca. Uh, this is literally just for Groove Coaster. I don't think there's any other Nesca games with aftermarket network support or even any Nesca games in Japan that use uh, still use the blue card other than Groove Coaster. So yeah, I got it for Groove Coaster because I like Groove Coaster. On the Switch, the Steam version and the arcade version is kind of poopy because the, there's no key sounding. No, there is key sounding and there is no uh, assist to clap. I friggin' hate that. Um, those two things aren't really arcade. It's just, hey, here's an Oyster card. Look, it's my mug shot. I look terrible because of course I do. Um, literally, every kind of in professional mug shot photo always looks terrible. Like passport photos, oysters. I go to school in London, right? Obviously, a lot of people there have oysters with their faces on. Literally, nobody's like, yeah, no, I actually look pretty good on my oyster card. No, everyone thinks they look terrible on it. I, if I recall correctly, don't quote me on that. But I think everyone would agree, yeah, it doesn't look good. I don't know what the friggin' deal is. Uh, I shouldn't have thrown it that hard. Hey, remember when I, like, actually <laughs> played video games? Yeah, no, it's, it's like, I built this entire room around gaming. Uh, I, I got a CRT because I was like, I want to play Time Crisis 2, darn it! And, like, yeah, I have a few light gun games. Uh, Time Crisis 1 and 2, Point Blank 2, and Ninja Assault. And I think that's it. I don't care because light gun games, I don't really like them. First off, CRT. Uh, some games, it's fine. Back when I was like, you know, in year seven, legit, um, my school had a few had a few CRTs. Could not be in the same room. The noise generated genuinely really hurt my head, and the refresh rate just was super flickery to my eyes. So genuinely painful. I'm fine with it now, mostly. If a game is displaying a super white screen, like I've got a PS2 with a free boot and some basic. Uh, Home utility, some of them just white screen, genuinely painful on my eyes. And light gun games, they flash the screen anytime you shoot, that's the entire point. But like, <laughs> I'm not epileptic, but I do get migraines and my eyes are just kind of terrible in other ways. So if it's going to cause you a seizure, it won't give me a seizure, but it will still make life kind of hell for me. It's, it's not good. So I try and avoid it. So light gun games are kind of a bust, but like I, I can do them. The picture quality on this is okay, but... I don't know, it's not a, the best CRT, and it's also tiny. It's this tiny little 4x3 one. In fact, most games are actually squashed. You have to go into the settings and move it. It's mostly fine. You also got to set it to mono, because it's a mono speaker. 
but whatever. It's not the best, but it, it it's here and I don't want to get rid of it, so I keep it around. This TV... <laughs> yeah, it's like this TV replaced that TV, and now we have a different one downstairs, but yeah. Uh, it's also fine. It Oh, frick, that's over brightened. For HD games, for stuff like Xbox 360 PS3, it works, but again, slightly too small, especially when I'm exporting from my PC. It's like some weird funky resolution in between 720 and 1080. But it works. It doesn't look the best for the Wii, but I kind of ignore it because I don't particularly like the idea of having even more consoles hooked up to this thing. Um, in terms of consoles, Saturn, uh, dead. I think it's the power supply. It's either the fuse or the capacitors. I could replace it, but I haven't had time to, which is a, basically a way of saying I'm too lazy. Uh, Dreamcast works mostly. Uh, there is a problem where it will sometimes boot me to the menu. I think it's the laser dying, maybe. Mega Drive, uh, it's a Mega Drive, it's really old, it's kind of poopy. Um, mainly, uh, I was playing Sonic 3 one time, uh, well, this happens always, but one time I was like, screw it, let's play Sonic 3. I booted the game up, started a new save, was playing it, uh, keep in mind, the controller's cable's really short. I was playing it, I was like, yeah, beat the level, and jogged it slightly, resets the console, and I'm just think and this is, uh, a an old retro game where there is, where the save system is like, do you want to save every two levels? And I, I just was like, oh, frick this. So I stopped playing. Um, I don't really play on any of these much. It's basically just, hey, occasionally I'll play through Fighting Vipers on the Saturn. Occasionally I'll go back to Crazy Taxi or Sega Rally 2 on the Dreamcast. N64 I basically never use because the cartridges don't have end labels. So what am I supposed to do? Pull each one off? I, I just don't. But yeah, it's like I do have them all. do have a GameCube, but I just play those on the Wii. I did have a PS1, but that's in... Same with GameCube, I just play it on PS2. I mainly just play on PS2, to be honest. That's, like, the main console I play on. The main one I collect for. Mainly because all the games are dirt cheap and... Actually, actually, give me a sec. So, uh... This is great. So, basically, there was a running gag for me where every time I went in CX, they'd have, like, Dancing Stage Mega Mix, which is, like, whatever kind of CSDDR game, right? So, typically, a copy of Mega Mix is like, you know, 50 pence, and so I was like, well, there's a few of them there, so you see where I'm going with this, you know, so I got, I got one, and then I got, I got two more, and then I got another one, so I'm at four, and then, uh, I got a fifth one, but the fifth one, <laughs> I just decided, frick it, I, I got all these stickers, I don't freaking know what to do with them, so I just stuck them all onto this as some kind of weird art project, so it's like, I don't know, it kind of looks neat, but I've, I stopped going and buying stuff as a CX, because I probably, I don't know, I, I don't go out as much anymore, uh, I also cleared my local one out of basically their entire stock, I still go in there occasionally, pick up movies or whatever, but games, I've kind of gotten everything I want at this point, especially since my shelf is just running out of space, I've had to rearrange it so many times, <laughs> PS2 games, especially, it's like, it's kind of stick stuff, stuffy, but then it's like, I got a bunch of PS2 games. Okay, they take up their entire shelf, but if I want to get more, I'm going to have to be like, oh, what's that? I want to put something else on. Uh, sorry, Madagascar, you got you to gotta go, and then I'll just shove it under there, under the bottom. Uh, but everything else is like, oh no, I only I only have four original Xbox, two GameCube, a few 360, decent amount of Wii Wii U, oh, decent amount of Wii, not much Wii U, so it's like, I just kind of shove them all on here. Decent amount of DS and 3DS, and just something on a PS3, Switch, whatever, for, for, just shove them on there. This is the bottom shelf, it's just like, eh, decent, but still. I was like, well that's not enough, so let's get a second shelf. And I did, but then this is like... The PS3 doesn't fit, so I oh, frig whatever. So PSP goes here. I actually found that uh, if you want to film vertically, you know, because because I'm I'm down with the kids. I've I've gotten the TikToks. <laughs> they say it ironically, but genuinely, it's a pretty fun platform. Um, so it's like you move these out. There you go, easy phone mount. I could just get a tripod, but again, I can't even be bothered to get a mic mount. So, uh, yeah, the PSP games, because I don't really buy PSP games. I have a PSP, but the screen's dead. I bought, I was like, oh, no problems, I'll just play it on the telly, right? Uh, <laughs> I bought AV cables, not knowing that you have to have progressive scan, which is only from the S-video cables. So that's back, so I didn't bother. <laughs> These N64 games, right? When I got my N64, it was F-Zero X boxed for seven quid in a local shop. That was amazing, so I got it. And then I was like, well, I got an N64, so I may as well get that boxed for 64 pounds in all those games. But then, my grandfather was like, hey, got this box of old games, do you want it? And it's like, sure, why not? Look at all of this. Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, Donkey Kong 64, you know, all of this stuff. And then some of them are like, perfect dark. Basically, 
you know, very good. Uh, Donkey Kong 64 with the expansion pack, which I didn't have. Banjo in Tui. Um, I feel bad actually because I played a bit of Banjo Kazooie. It's not really my thing. I don't really have any interest in playing half of these, but I have them. Basically, I joke that I have them because why not? But it's like if I need emergency bail money for whatever reason, it's just oh, frig it, I got I got enough here. Which uh, if I my arcade cabinet endeavors go as they may go then i may actually have to sell some of these uh box star fox 64 was pretty neat got a rumble pack uh got a memory card got a few n64 controllers in fact look it's a draw and that remote that fell over earlier yeah in terms of remotes this is for this tv that's for the other tv but i just used one of them because the volume and av switching works on both i got this for ps3 because the ps3 is actually really good for netflix so i got this to use it uh so Normally, uh, controllers for these consoles that I primarily use just sit at the top by the N64. Uh, these controllers just sit here. I got this charging cradle with the PS3, so it's whatever. This is for hand moisturizer. We'll go out. Um, this is for overflow. It's just like, hey, do you want a dead Super Nintendo? A Titan? Uh, not a Titan. Quadro card from like a ing server rig that like came out of a shed. Frigga, why not? <laughs> Spare eye toys, you know, whatever. Graphics cards, you know, frigga. Um, this is where, this is for like excess controllers. So do you want a Duke, but without the, the adapty thingy, a non shock, a Super Nintendo, second Dreamcast, second N64, again, another N64, third party PlayStation, uh, Pro Control, Wii, Wii Pro. This actually was a really nice controller, like, right? So I got this on Switch instead of a Pro. It was really good. And then the right stick started drifting, not like, you know, Joy-Con drift, Frick, Trick, Frick Joy-Cons by the way, split pad all the way, but yeah, it was like, always holding right, and so I was like, well shoot, I can't use this anymore. <laughs> I could try and fix it, or it even just disconnects it, but I don't play my Switch anymore. <laughs> For me, the Switch is legit just a Smash Bros machine. I have it a dock there, but I legit, I never use it. I, nev I never use it just because the Switch is for Smash Bros. So what the frig else am I supposed to do with it? Oh yeah, uh, Guitar Hero Guitar literally never used it. Um, old PC, got it working, set up with Windows XP. It's got a GeForce 2, I think. I have old PC games, in fact, but I literally never used them. So, and my monitor was too low, so I just used them. <laughs> I stacked my monitor on top of them so that way it's slightly close to eye level. It's not whatever uh yeah I, I never used a pc it's just an elaborate coffee table uh that's pretty much all the gamey stuff i think uh this i got c i got a few cds uh basically just one frigga why not ddra soundtrack uh i did got that one that was pretty neat uh 2dx red frigga i'd like that game i think i don't know much of the songs but hey it's kind of neat to have uh criminal idol freaking love static p why not it's official the computer's decided to give up on us to go to sleep but yeah uh, i got an ipod because, hey, yes, I watch dank pods. Who would have thought I say dingus and nugget and hunge and garbage uh, on the daily? In fact, I've probably already said it within the span of this video. But yeah, uh, I got an iPod, because why not? Uh, bad's dead. Like, I can plug it in, and it'll turn on. But as soon as I unplug it, dead. Can't even transfer stuff onto it. So yeah, I got CDs, ripped them, put them on. Neat! Can't be bothered to do anything with it, because I just listened to with Spotify on my phone. Uh, but hey, I do have music CDs. I got that Nendroid. Pretty neat. Uh, I don't know what to do with it, and I can't really be bothered to get any more. Uh, yeah, g general book dudes here. Then here's all my movie. Here's all my DVD and home video stuff. It's very weird. It's basically a mix of stuff where it's like, I want to watch this. Let's watch them. And then it's like, eh, I've heard these are good. I'll get them. I'll get to them one day. Haven't watched them yet. <laughs> and then some stuff where it's just like, frick it, man. I need this for film studies in school. <laughs> Oh yeah, here's the box collection. Not really changed much since the last time. Uh, boxes, hey. Uh, there's there's the, the stupid controller that doesn't work well on PC and genuinely makes every single song feel like Gamble, Hyper, or another when you're playing <laughs> Infinitas. Yeah, main thing I've started sinking my money into instead of video games. Can I offer you an egg in these trying times? I have nothing else to say. Uh, here's, here's this. This is really neat. It's the DDRA thing, right? Uh, legit, I just kind of made this in school. Like, when I was into drawing and stuff, I was just like, Frig it, man, let's just paint that. It's it's a really neat display piece. This is the merch from me, Expo. I, I very rarely wear it, because why would I? <laughs> I have a regular dressing gown. Uh, yeah, it's that, and... 
Look, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a stick. It turns on and it doesn't get picked up well by a camera. There's my Super Nintendo games, legit. <laughs> Never play them because they also don't have ing end labels, and my Super Nintendo's dead. But look, it's a Super Game Boy. That was the until it died. Floppy disks, I legit, I never use them either. So yeah, that's it. My hair's really lopsided. That's gonna annoy me. Imagine combing your damn hair. Okay, so yeah, that was my room. Pretty much everything in it, honestly. I could probably ramble more like, oh look, it's a mirror. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's basically everything. Uh, I just figured, what the hey? Uh, I haven't done anything. Let's just do a fun little thing. I can talk. I have a mouth and vocal folds. I can use them for now. But yeah, uh, if you like this, I'm friggin' <laughs> I don't know. Share your own room, maybe. That'd be fun. That'd be kind of fun to look at. So I don't know. Until until next time, uh, I can never. I even in an actual conversation, I never fing know how to leave. So and. Uh, Here's some other videos if you want to watch them. They're really old and you probably, you, I, I don't know. I'm only, I, I'm on Twitter, you, you can see me ramble there, I guess. Yeah.